This is awesome. These worms just taught us how stem cells work. For decades, science has trusted the notion that stem cells get their cues from local cellular neighbors known as niches. These close-knit communities provide everything a stem cell needs to grow and decide its fate. This means that you can repair local areas like a cut, and some animals can even extend this to a whole limb, but nothing should be able to regrow a whole body. However, these flatworms break those rules. If you chop them up, not only will every piece survive, each one grows back into a fully functioning worm, with a brain, gut, and everything in between. To understand how, researchers at Stowers Institute for Medical Research decided to take a closer look. They took thin slices of the worm and pressed them onto a surface covered in tiny barcoded beads that collect RNA, the temporary genetic messages cells use to make their protein machinery. This told them exactly what genes are active in which tissues, and by looking for stem cell markers on the map, researchers can then see where where clusters of stem cells sit and which other types of tissues surround them. They then zoomed in with an electron microscope to determine which cells were actually in direct contact with each other. And surprisingly, they found that the stem cells weren't often in contact with their nearest neighbors, the opposite of how we thought stem cells actually worked. To find out which cells they were communicating with, the team selectively switched off specific cell types within the worm, causing them to vanish. Then they observed which worms lost the ability to regenerate. They found that when they shut down key intestinal genes and cells, the entire regeneration generation process fell apart. That means that somehow the intestines are sending long-range signals throughout a body-wide network that coordinates how the whole regeneration process works. But it also makes us ask the question, how do they regenerate if only a head remains? Earlier studies found that in these worms, major damage to the body triggers the regeneration of the gut and signaling processes almost automatically and regardless of where the damage occurred. We didn't really know why this was, but these recent findings indicate it's likely because the intestines act like an internal HQ for the whole stem cell regeneration process. This means that even small bits of tissue can grow a gut, which is enough to reboot and fully regenerate a whole worm. This is exciting because if we understand how to recreate even a small part of that flexibility in human tissues, it could point towards a future where we can rebuild organs after injury, or maybe even one day, full body regeneration. If you like science and worms that have a lot of guts, follow for more.